Let's start with our theme song. Billy bop boop 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 scoop. Billy bop boop boop boop. Yeah. Billy bop boop boop. Welcome to our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome oh. to our um, second episode here on Goober Talks. Yes, we have a title. It is Goober Talks. My name's Justin. What's I'm, your name, sir? I'm Gavin. How's it going? Welcome back. Um, this is our second episode, like I did say, of Goober Talks. And uh, kind of gotten everything off the first episode. You know, it was kind of... It actually wasn't that bad at all. Yeah. I, I mean, the problem it. is we went through all our materials. And now yeah, now we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> um, what book have you read lit recently, Gavin? Oh, man. I wrote an instruction, or I read the instruction manual. God, we really have nothing to talk yeah. about. <laughs> I read the Bible recently. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Any? <laughs> no, we have some stuff to talk about. Um, we're going to, you know, focus. Last week, we focused mostly on, like, Game of Thrones, video games. This week, we're going to talk more about movies, TV shows, and some stuff that I did this weekend. Yep. Um, so, last week, we did talk about, you know, a little bit that this week, we would focus on the Shazam movie review. Mm-hmm. Shazam. Lightning. Um, superpowers, um, movie synergy. It was okay. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> so I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's, it actually is doing pretty well. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, so I guess when we talk about movies on here, I'll give like a little personal review. This it's, and I'll even give it a score. Cause why not? Cause pe- some people might want to know if we have a certain scale of sorts. Um, but Shazam is a, the new DC movie. If you haven't heard that is focused on, primarily on the character named Shazam, also known as the original Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Um, If you didn't know, the female-led Captain Marvel from Marvel Comics is a little bit different from DC's um, Captain Marvel. So due to obvious name, like branding and whatnot, and legal reasons, they had to change it to Shazam. Um, So Shazam focuses on a boy, orphan boy, Billy Batson. Batson? Batson. Batson. And um, he requires... Acquires, not requires... (laughs) words acquires um powers from the wizard shazam so if he says the magical words shazam voila woo he is shazam so he has the power of i'm not going to go into it they every single letter in his name is like a certain power of a god of some oh, sort oh really yeah so like so, so it means something it's yeah. not just a fun name yeah so oh, okay. um long story short this is a really good movie i really liked it um it's probably one of the better dc movies that came out recently and it's it's fun. It's a fun movie. It's like Big meets a superhero movie, like Superman and Big. That's that's what I've heard. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. seen some interviews with Zachary Levi, and yeah, he's he's always compared it to that. He's like mm-hmm. you know, Big meets Superman. And Zachary Levi is amazing in this film. Actually, the whole cast is great. Um, so like it focuses on the family. Like there's like orphan family kids, and they, yeah, right, With superheroes, <laughs> right. So they focus primarily on that. Um, they're kind of like the centerfold of it all. And it, they're all like a bunch of like kid actors, and they're great. Yeah. Every one of them is great. The kid from It is fantastic. <laughs> that kid is so, so good, and I want to see him in more things, which I think he's in a couple more things coming up besides It, part two, which I'm excited for that. Um, but it's just a great movie. Everything about it was really good. I have some gripes here and there. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about it that the first off, so the villain is not like the best villain ever. And that's okay because, you know, some movies, especially Marvel, they don't have a lot of good villains. And mm-hmm. um, but he's not he's not bad, but he's not great. He's he's just okay. He's kind of there. Yeah, and he's it, like a good origin story villain. Yes, and he did what he was supposed to do because, like, in future films, they want to do the Black Adam, which is okay. going to be played by the Rock. Yep, yeah, I've seen at that s- some point. Um, which apparently they're going to give him his own film. But I like where they're going with these films. It's a fun movie. And but it also has this weird like horror spin to it because really? the director did Annabelle Creation. Oh, okay. So there's some like creepy stuff in it, which I did not see coming. And honestly, I loved it. It was a weird mix of fun and uh, like horror. Nice. Um, but I'm not gonna get into spoilers because there's some some cool stuff at the end um, that they don't put into the marketing. Which the marketing, I'm glad they didn't reveal a lot of stuff. Yeah, probably. Like they didn't reveal just certain things about it. Um, but I liked it a lot. I'm excited to see where they're going next, and I ar- it's arguably their best film with Wonder Woman. I would like, really? I would rate it like Wonder Woman, Shazam, uh, Aquaman. <laughs> I liked Aquaman, and then the rest is garbage. Yeah, yeah. The, Granted, the I, is- <laughs> I liked Man of Steel. I'm one of the few people that liked Man of Steel. Yeah, I didn't mind Man of Steel. I thought it kind of went off the rails a little bit yeah. in the in the fight scene. Yeah, they just eviscerated the entire city. Exactly. But- but, movie wise yeah it wasn't that bad no i i but then bbs came out and suicide squad suicide squad is just crazy that's, yeah that's a movie yeah. it, it came out 
it came out <laughs> and i but wonder woman was really great shazam is up there and i hope for more shazam films i um, I, I heard i don't know if it's confirmed but i heard that the the sequel was was in pre-production yeah so the so. writer for this film is going to do the second one okay and, and it is confirmed that they are doing a, a sequel or <laughs> kind of oh, okay yeah. they say oh, we're gonna make another one well it's it it's made a lot of money already oh yeah granted there's not a lot of competition right now per se not yet yeah yeah, until Avengers comes out, and then it's just done. Because it won the opening weekend, and it won this last weekend, okay. officially. So, um, it's great. I loved it. Certain things I didn't like. Like I said, the villain was okay. And then some of the pacing here and there. Like, there's some scenes that should have been a little bit shorter. Mm-hmm. But, you know, for what it is, it, you know, I think they did a good job with the storytelling and the, the dialogue was really good. Um, there was... <laughs> So like every everybody's really good at acting in this movie, mm-hmm. except for when you know you know in a movie you're like everyone's really great and there's one person that's just not good. Like, there was somebody who was not good at all and it, <laughs> it bugged me. I don't know why. It was within the first like twenty minutes. There's like this doctor person. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> like first off, how do people get in like these movies and they're really bad at acting in general? I just to me and this is that's Hollywood. It's like but. it's like in Little League when. The coach's kid is awful, but he's the pitcher because he's the coach's kid. He's yeah. like, all right, cool. Yep, you're here. <laughs> yep. Or it's like with our softball team that we made up back in 2012. Yeah. <laughs> Which is everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but with this movie, I would I would give it a good old 8.5 out of 10. You almost had an 8.9, didn't you? 8.9. I was like, yeah. that makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> but I really liked it. Um, it's not perfect by any means. I was going to give it a 9, but I just... I don't. I don't know. The premise, uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't seen it, but I, I want to because mm-hmm. I really like the premise and how it's it's kind of the same reason why I like um, Miles Morales and Spider Man. Yeah, like even before um, Into the Spider Verse came out, it's because it's like it's a world that exists with superheroes, yeah. and then there's this kid that isn't a superhero but wants to be, and then actually gets to become a superhero. And see, I think that's jumping on that is just like that's the cool thing about this movie is that it's a nice like breath of fresh air and it doesn't focus on the other superheroes they're there like it in the old world like they exist but they don't focus on that and i like that aspect of it and it's just you know zachary levi is perfect for the for the role in yeah. my opinion like he's just he is a kid he's a giant kid mm-hmm. and kid at heart yep yeah. yep so um speaking of dc movie moves movie moves with cows um we have uh the joker trailer mm-hmm. what do you think about that i thought it was interesting mm-hmm. um i i'm personally kind of over the the trailer like cliche of having kind of a weird creepy vibe and like a remake to yeah. a, a popular song in the background but you know i can get over that yeah um as far as the yeah the actual trailer goes it it, it looks pretty interesting it looks like it's a definitely it's definitely a different take uh, than we've seen in the last few iterations of Joker. Mm-hmm. And especially since it's completely about the Joker, we get to see, you know, his backstory and kind of how he became the, the nut job that he is. And it looks like it's going to be more about a movie about like a crazy person rather than a supervillain, mm-hmm. which seems interesting to me. Like, if you would not have posted up the words like Joker or that DC logo at the end, I don't think a lot of people would think that it would be yeah. based on a comic book. Yep. You know uh, yeah, I, mean? I thought I thought about that too. Yeah, and yeah, if they if they kept out like what Gotham Hospital or whatever, wherever he was yeah. at, um, and yeah, if they just took out the Batman references, yeah, it would just look like, you know, a, a drama. Yeah. I, it looks good. Um, it's very Scorsese influenced. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm intrigued to see where it's going to go. Because originally when I heard about it, I was like, I don't want... First off, the Joker doesn't need an origin. Yeah. they Even in the comics, they don't really have an official origin. They have this uh, book called The Killing Joke, um, where it's kind of like a one-off, where they talk about like kind of like an origin of him, how he used to be like a comedian. It's similar to what this movie is kind of going for. Um, but at the same time, it wasn't like... A, I don't know if it's necessarily considered official or like canon with the whole com- like comic book... like lore of sorts but it looks just like a really good movie and Joaquin Phoenix looks crazy and Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix is one of those actors I feel like he jumps into a role like hardcore yeah uh, similar to Heath Ledger <laughs> do you see I think I think it's in the trailer there's a shot of him like shirtless it uh-huh. looked like he lost like 80 pounds he did <laughs> it's ridiculous that's why I heard that they're talking about doing reshoots and they're like we can't do reshoots we yeah, you're gonna all kill once because he's like <laughs> like disgustingly skinny yeah <laughs> but Bad. hey you know if they're paying you a ton of money then character actor 
Yeah. Get as it, long as get as crazy as you can. Yeah, as long as like is you're healthy about it per se. If he's just losing weight, you know. But then again, he didn't look too healthy. No. Yeah, I was to gonna me. say there are there's countless stories of actors essentially going too far for the yeah. role. Um, you know, like whether they're gaining or losing weight or Christian Bale. Yeah, that can't he, be <laughs> he shifts like like nobody's business. Because I was it as an American Hustle where he gained a ton of weight and it looks like it's fake, but he's he was legitimately fat. Yeah, like that was like actual gut. Uh huh. And then yeah, there there was some movie that he gained a ton of weight, and then like six months or a year later, he was f- uh, filming another one where mm-hmm. he had to like drop all that weight. Yeah. And he just like he's like yeah sure no problem. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm intrigued to see where DC and, and we. I kind of briefly talked or talked about it, like how DC is kind of going this more different route, mm-hmm. and they're kind of focusing on more like just solo stories. Which again, I'm okay with. You don't necessarily have to do the Marvel formula. They can't. They've tried. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> for them. exactly. And I like the fresh take to things where they're just doing one-off stories, doing their own kind of thing, and mm-hmm. it, that's what all. I think that's all we kind of want. It's just a good movie like yeah. good script good acting just a good story mm-hmm. and i feel like they focused too much on this whole universe thing i think Zack snyder can't and yeah that's another story i don't want to get into that it's a bag of just nuts stuff but yeah um i'm intrigued to see where it goes yeah i also think talking about their avengers attempt um i think one of the problems is their movies were so vastly different in mm-hmm. like you know how they were done because so man of steel came out and that was like a serious you know superman movie wonder woman it, it was it like it, it wasn't you know light-hearted or comedic but it definitely wasn't as dark and as serious as as the other ones it had moments of light and i don't necessarily think it was like has to be serious i think there's a lot of hope in that movie you know what i mean yeah it's not just like a really dreary kind of like sad like yeah it wasn't as awful yeah Yeah. so it it had like a that kind of style that dc has but also was very hopeful Mm -hmm. i think that's why people liked it and it was just a good film yeah and then you know batman vs superman came out and it it was they were like mixing all of it like you had you know man of steel and he was like all you know depressed basically (laughs) yeah and then batman um came in you know that's that's a whole thing and then wonder woman shows up and it's like you know she was not cheerful but like a, li- a little bouncy compared to all she of them was and fun compared to everyone yeah else. and then you're <laughs> like trying to mix them all and it's like this isn't working no and they tried to cramp way too much in that movie and they had a, th- a three-hour cut which was much oh, better i will say oh, really? it's a much more coherent movie it doesn't fix it by any means no. into like a, a better like the best film ever but it does make it a better like i guess makes it more coherent mm. and i i like that aspect to it where they should just release that they shouldn't have released the two out two and a half hour film they cut up and it's just very the pacing's awful editing's awful but. yeah i wonder how that would have gone for them when if they announced a three hour batman vs superman movie because this is you know like we have a three hour end game avengers movie We're all pumped for it yeah but and and everyone's been expecting that since it's had a 10 year lead up this was just like <laughs> A two-year lead-up. Exactly. I don't yeah. think it would have been received as well. No. Because nobody... They didn't do it... Like... Because Man of Steel was, def- like, was kind of like split between mm-hmm. how people viewed it. And then starting off like that. And then like, okay, well, the next film we're just going to make yep. <laughs> the big finale. <laughs> going all out. Like, God. <laughs> so I, I'm very hopeful that there's just better films down the road. Because obviously I want films to succeed in mm-hmm. general. And I think Shazam is a good example of how they're going down this path of, you know... A rebound path i okay. should say so they're, they're just trying to get their grounding and i feel like they're getting a better grasp of everything such as aquaman being so successful mm-hmm. and same with shazam being a hit yeah um, i feel like in a way they're um you know batman versus, versus superman and justice league how they both kind of bombed mm-hmm. i feel like in a way that was good for them because they realized this isn't working <laughs> yeah so like yeah they, they realize it's not working and it's definitely you know they can't do the same thing that marvel's doing so they're going to go their own route and start mm-hmm. focusing more on the characters yep. rather than trying to mash them all together and i think and then you know what once you solidify those characters then you can make a team yeah. movie that's, yeah, that's, that's what marvel did but exactly it's... and yeah and they're not going to have you know much marvel competition after yeah. after a couple weeks from now essentially and so. and I, I i know before we get into our next topic i feel like that you know, Marvel in general, they should probably switch up some stuff and take some, maybe even a little break, like even a year, because I feel like there's an oversaturation of Marvel right now, yeah. which I love a lot of the titles that have come out, but 
even for example ant-man and the wasp and like films like that where it's like it's all right it's there but like I feel like they should just take their time and start, you know, fleshing out more of these movies rather than like, let's pump out four a year. Kind yeah, of exactly. Thing. And yeah, did you see all their announcement, all Disney plus announcements, how they're yes. having all these shows, like they're having a Loki show They're, they're, oh, what are the other two? They just came out. It's uh, really stupid. Winter Soldier and Falcon. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's Wanda and, that's, and Vision. Yeah. And did you see what the title of that one is? No. WandaVision. What? It's so stupid. Like they, Wait, what? They tweet it out. Yeah, I gotta look at this. Yeah, because I, I, I was like looking up all like the updates and everything, but I didn't see the title for that. Oh yeah. Well, I'm I'm assuming that's the title because yeah, oh, they I hope so. they tweet it out. They're like, they they just went on like a, a rampage of tweets and just saying you know this is coming out, and this is coming out, and these characters, yeah. and yeah, they said. Um, uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon, and it's called Winter. It's called like the Winter Soldier and the Falcon, or something yeah. like that. And then they're like, "Oh, and your favorite, you know, whatever, blah blah blah." Wanda and Vision are going to be in their own show, Wanda Vision. I'm like, <laughs> no, don't call it that. No, <laughs> That's so stupid. Literally, the first thing I Google is there's an article that says, "Wait, is Disney Plus seriously calling its Scarlet Witch <laughs> Vision TV show Wanda Vision?" Yep. <laughs> okay, come I, on. It's I, I don't know what they. It, it honestly feels like they they got like the go ahead someone at marvel got the go ahead to make these shows yeah and they just like tweet it tweet it now go do now it, do it. <laughs> like we don't have time to think about it just do it they'll agree, the actors will agree later to go just, you know they're under contract they have to do it so. yeah well that kind of leads into our next topic um of store wars i don't know if you've heard of this thing called store wars store wars store wars don't sing it because then we'll get copyrighted. yeah, yeah I, just, <laughs> I cut it off and changed it a little bit right there yeah. <laughs> we're not even making any money off these and they're gonna try taking money they're from gonna us. take everything from us. everything um but so there was a lot of star wars stuff this week um long story short i went to star wars celebration here in chicago illinois not here specifically because we're we're a good old iowa but we went to chicago illinois um, yesterday, which was Saturday, for one day. It's a five-day event, and I was not going to do five days of that. <laughs> um, but we did one day. It was pretty exciting. Um, it was a lot of fun. Did you spill on yourself? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Getting all moist for this. Moist. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> so uh, we went to Celebration. It was it was really cool. Um as, for a personal take on it, I was upset majority of the time because I was trying to get into Funko. But besides that, it was really it was fun. It was a cool experience. Would I have done multiple days? Probably not, unless I was staying in a hotel and kind of spaced everything out. I think that I would have enjoyed it that way a little bit better. But I I don't think I could handle crowds that long. Like I, I just people annoy me and especially everything. star wars fans yeah but with that they and uh, they dropped a teaser trailer for star wars episode nine how do you feel about that gavin so i think it looked great except for the fact that i did not watch ah, it that, that, yeah. really, that, would, that would do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I, yeah i didn't watch that i don't intend to watch any trailers or teasers um i i started doing that with marvel but i realized it's i impossible. don't really care but yeah with marvel yeah with star wars though ever since um Force Awakens came out. I haven't watched any of the trailers until mm-hmm. after I saw the movie just to see. Um, just because I like going into those movies knowing absolutely nothing. And Star yeah. Wars is something that if I see a trailer, I'm just going to start p- putting like the puzzle together in my head and it's going to be completely wrong. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be either like upset or super surprised. It could go either way, but I just like to not know anything. Yeah. I don't even know the title of episode nine. Yeah. And that's, I, I wish I could live that way, but um, I'm, I'm usually on Twitter quite a bit, and Twitter is just full of spoilers. Mm-hmm. So that's why, even with Game of Thrones, if I have like a five-minute delay, I'm not even touching my phone. I'm just going to be yep. you know, just watching the show. I had to put filters on Reddit to, oh, really? to filter out all Star Wars, Mm-mm. Skywalker, Kylo, like all the hot words for <laughs> Star Wars. I filtered it out, so I don't, I don't, I'm not going to see anything there. Porgs. I should probably put that in there. Porgs, yeah. I actually like the Porgs from Last Jedi. Yeah, they're fun. Know, they're they're cute. I like when they're in the ship screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chewie was like flying around. Yeah, I like when Chewie ate one. But um, they came out with the trailer. I'm not going to reveal anything. I'm just going to give an initial reaction and thoughts. Okay. Um, so, um, so uh, again, long story short, I, f- I loved it. I loved it. I loved it so much. And um, just even by this trailer itself, it's redeeming. It feels like Force Awakens. I love The Force Awakens. Oh, yeah. So, just to let you know, personally, that it's very hopeful. Okay. And And um, so, initially, we talked about this in our first, like, test podcast thing. Mm-hmm. That 
you know, once Endgame ends, you know, like a month after, it's going to be full on Star Wars. Oh, yeah. And people are going to be hyped. And people, people are going to go to it. People are going to buy tickets. Mm-hmm. It's and, and there's not necessarily, like, a fatigue by any means. There's been, like, a little short fatigue since, like, Solo and The Last Jedi. And we're just kind of like, ugh, it's yeah. whatever. But I think it's it's appropriate time now. It's By the time it comes out, it'll be, like, a year and a half since I'll, we've seen something Star Wars related, mm-hmm. like, movie-wise. Um, so with this trailer, I think people are more hyped. You know, people kept talking about it at the the convention. You know, if it came on one of the screens, people would just stop and watch, watch it, it, which is what I did because I've I've seen it like ten times now because mm-hmm. I loved it. There's a lot of cool things in it. Um, there's something I wish I could talk to you about <laughs> because they kind of they do something and it's like what and it's just like you know that this film is gonna like the last film was all focused on let the past die and like you know let's not think about anything else this movie does the opposite it feels like this movie is just gonna be straight like course correction and i'm okay with that (laughs) because i i like the last jedi for what it is but there's a lot of things i don't like yeah i so yeah my relationship with the last jedi when it came out in theaters you know i saw it like opening Mm -hmm. weekend i loved it i thought it was great and then, Same. <laughs> and then, I, like I rewatched it. I don't know. I think it was just a few months ago. It was on Netflix or something. Mm-hmm. And I rewatched it, and I like paid more attention. I'm like, oh. it's like this I isn't. Do it. Yeah, this isn't as great as I thought. It's yeah. Like there's so many. There's just moments in it where it's like, you know, if you didn't do that, that it would have been so much better if you did this instead. It's like, what were you like? Why did yeah. you do this? Blah blah blah. All that stuff. It's just. I'm okay with like different Star Wars stories, yeah. But just don't do it with like the main series. That's what those the Star Wars stories are meant for, like Rogue One and Solo. It's just yeah. to do different things, yeah. And I felt like they shouldn't have taken the chance on this, that, or like have a at least a coherent story. You know what I mean? Like from the saga, because like Force Awakens set all the stuff up, and then Last Jedi is like, I'm good. I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> yep. and just gotta brush it aside. And it's like, well, what's the point? Now this film feels this next one feels like it's gonna be like. We're bringing all of it back, kind of a thing. So it's just like, it's interesting. Like even with like race parents, he's like, oh, there's a bunch of nobodies. I'm like, no, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna that, talk about that. Yeah, I know we mentioned that in our like test one, but that's not coming out, so I might as well mention it again. Yeah, right. I hated that so much. How <laughs> Me too. the entire Force Awakens movie was about her lineage, her parents. Yeah, because there was like a whole scene with Maz and, and Han Solo in that bar or whatever, and she was like, you know, who who are that girl's parents? Like, who's her father or whatever? And mm-hmm. then. Han clearly knew something, but he didn't say anything. Exactly. It, it's not the fact that they're just a bunch of nobodies. It's it's the fact that there's a bunch of like build up, and like and the, yeah, exactly. Like if, if they if they started day one, and they were like, Who, "Who's her parents?" and Han's like, "I don't know." It's like nobody. It's like it, sure, but then you have an entire movie, and then the sec <laughs> uh, the first half of Last Jedi, and then Kylo Ren and her are talking, and mm-hmm. he was like, "Yeah, they're nobody." She's like, "No." It's yeah, like, it's just to me. That's just lazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's just really like again. It's not coherent. It doesn't go well together. It's not mashing well together. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's a big Disney slash Lucasfilm issue that they shouldn't. They should just you know kept him for the whole all the whole trilogy. Yeah, in my opinion, the same director. But um, anywho, so with Last Jedi, I'm in the same boat where I watched it and I was like, oh, it's so good. And then afterwards, I was like. I don't know if it was that good, but like, mm-hmm. and then it, like the more it settled, I was like, this, this yeah. kind of made me mad. This can be kind of mad. And then it came out on Blu-ray, and uh, Natalia and I watched it, and I think I was drinking during it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we were, it was during like the Canto bite, like the casino, the whole casino, yeah. And then the whole time, I'm like, why the hell is this in here? It's just if they would have taken that out <laughs> mm-hmm. and just, I would have been fine with that. And and it's not that I hate Rose. Like the actress who plays Rose, but I just hate all everything that she was going for. Yeah, that and Finn. I just hated everything they did with those. Two. Yeah, and I'm just like, this is just <laughs> why. So yeah, I, I'm one of those people that it's like I obviously don't want characters I like to die. Yeah, but in a movie sense, it's so good to have good characters die because it's mm-hmm. such like an emotional moment. Like spoiler for anyone who doesn't need Force Awakens when Han yeah. got stabbed, it's like. There was a moment where it's like, no, he's not gonna die, and then he gets stabbed. And it's like, oh my god, it's like he's this is a die. thing. Yeah. So when you know, after seeing that, when in Last Jedi, when Finn was like, he was essentially going on a suicide run into that that 
gunship, whatever it was, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, like Finn's gonna die. I'm like, then this is like probably the perfect moment to do it. Um, you know, because if he saves then, everyone, nope. <laughs> yeah, and then Rose comes out of nowhere and crashes into him, and he, even he, even in the movie, the character was like, why did you screw this up? It's like yeah. it was gonna be a great movie moment. You saved me. I hate you now. Exactly. And then they kissed, and I don't know if she died. Did she die? She's alive. Okay. Spoilers. Yeah. Because like it, <laughs> she was at the panel. <laughs> oh, okay. Because they made it look like she was dead in that scene because like she yeah. closed her eyes and her head tilted or whatever. I'm like, that was a dumb death. <laughs> well, do you know anything about the next one at all? Like any I know, casting? I know it comes out this year. Uh huh. And I know Ray is in it. Do you know if anyone else? And is I in think it? a lightsaber is going to be in it. Okay. That's it. Okay. I'm assuming. I mean, so I like on a serious note. I obviously know you know like Kylo Ren, Finn, mm-hmm. like all the main cast from the other movies are going to be in there. I yeah. don't know if if Luke or Leia or well, I guess yeah Han wouldn't be. I don't know if either of those are going to be in it. Like, yeah, because I don't know if Luke's going to be a Force ghost or anything like that. Yeah. Obviously, but yeah, I don't know if Leia um, is going to be in it because I don't know if they filmed any of her spots or if they're going to weirdly CGI her in or if they're just going to. Well, can I talk her? about that? Is sure. that too much of a spoiler? No, go for it. Okay, she's in it. Okay. They use a lot of footage that they didn't are what? use. They use a lot of footage they didn't use, and they put her in those scenes. Oh. So they change backgrounds. They put different characters. Because they're, again, I'm not giving away anything with right, the trailer, right. but there's a shot of her, and I'm pretty sure it was from La- like Force Awakens, but they did a bunch of stuff. I couldn't tell. Okay. Because someone's telling, oh, it looks like it's this one other scene, like a, but a different take of it. Right. And I think they used that. So... They were, and they. Her brother was talking about it. Carrie Fisher's brother on some show of some sort. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was like a morning show, and he was just saying, like, you know, initially they're talking about just using her as a CGI character, but she's too important to like put her in there. So what they did is they had a lot of footage from the last two movies that they just cut and put into a movie. And apparently, the one shot they showed in the trailer was like, it could work. Like, okay, how the dialogue's gonna be? That, that's gonna be another thing. That's what but, I was thinking. Yeah, I hope they didn't rework any of the script to make that fit like yeah. I, ho- I hope they did it the other way where they just used yeah. her and like maybe had a different character say one of her lines that she had to say but they didn't have footage or something yeah because yeah i hope they didn't change the script just for that yeah so that's interesting though yeah i'm intrigued to see where they go with it i hope it i hope it's good <laughs> and just i feel like it will be the trailer gave me that hope good and i'm very happy for that yeah um, along with that they announced some disney park stuff i don't know how familiar you are with Disney parks. I know the Disney parks is their biggest source of revenue. Yeah. It's like I, it, it, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know. I own some Disney stock, so I follow. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, nice. I, I follow. We should. Yeah, I don't know I, why we don't. It's it's. Oh man, they you sh- you should have bought it before they announced Disney, Disney Plus. Plus. Yeah, it, it went up. It, it went up. Yeah, like eleven percent in in that day, and yeah. it was. I'm not a stock nuts. guy. I don't understand stocks, so it's me no good. It. <laughs> it's yeah. It's it's fun. You can either. You can either be really happy with your decisions or sit there all day wondering why you made that decision because mm-hmm. it, it lost you money. Yeah. If anything, I would have invested in Disney. Yeah. That's the only thing I think that I feel comfortable. Yeah, it's Yeah. Those blue chip ones like that and Microsoft and all that. It's usually good bets, but yeah. you know. Yeah, anyway, know. so back to Star Wars stuff. Yeah. So they announced the park stuff. They did some, which when we went Saturday, yesterday, they did the, they, so every day they have a different like big panel. And we entered in the lottery for that one. We didn't get any lotteries, so that was fun. <laughs> That's okay, because we, we watched the live stream, so there's nothing we were missing so out. So what could you have won if you won that? We would have won. There's a panel lottery, which we would have gotten into like the big panel that day, which was the parks. So they talk about the parks, oh, um, okay. Disney Imagineering, stuff like that. It's so like stuff that Tali and I like, because mm-hmm. we're Disney nerds. And <laughs> like Imagineering, to me and her, are just very fascinating. So we watched it from like the crowd... It was like a big like Star Wars show area, <laughs> and we watched the live stream, and it was good. I personally feel like it was a lot of information I already knew. So if you didn't know, they're building a Star Wars land. Yeah, and I heard that. Land and world. So yep. lands in California, worlds in Florida. And sounds, what? Does that, that make sense? Because Disneyland versus Disney World. So. True. So they are building it. They're talking about the rides, this and that. There wasn't a ton of information. Apparently, they're making their own Coke. Like Star Wars Coke, like brand and stuff, which is really fascinating. I don't, I, I, it's cool, I guess. And then they announced more Funkos for that, which there's a lot of Funko Good, stuff because I own Funko stock too, and they're doing oh, do very you? well. Oh, really? <laughs> I heard their first couple of days or first month was bad, personally, or something like that. So oh, I, after their IPO, yeah, yeah, once well, it went public. Yeah, gen- generally, companies once they go IPO, like 
especially tech companies, not that Funko's mm-hmm. tech or retail, but um, th- they usually go down just because there's so much hype. People buy into it right away and then they want to cash out at, you know, just to make some quick money. So yeah. then it tanks it and then you have, you know, shareholders wanting more and more Stick, stuff yeah. and all that. So it, it varies, but they're doing well now. Um, I also, I read that they're opening a physical store in Hollywood, like right, like a block or two down from yeah. the Chinese theater. Which I that, wish they opened that up when I lived in California. Yeah, I was going to say, I was <laughs> They have one in Seattle. Which I okay. think was their headquarters is that. Yep. Um, but they were a big um, uh, sponsor. I don't know. They were a big uh, venue. I can't, I can't venue. think of the word. They're a, they're a presence at the convention. Oh, okay. So right. they had their big yep. booth, which I guess um, why I said I was complaining about that is because I feel like the staff there were a bunch of idiots, <laughs> in my opinion. Because what so what they do is they do a lottery. You enter in the lottery. We did the lottery. If you don't get in the lottery, that's that's fine because they're gonna have leftover pops okay. that you can go in. It's, so it's like one per person of one each kind. Because mm-hmm. there's like a bunch of like a Chewy, Leia, they had their own exclusive pops. So and then they have a general mission line. So when we got in, it was already capped, and they were like, "Well, at one thirty to two, we're gonna open up a new one." So okay, that's fine. So we did. We walked around, watched the panel, and we got some food, and then we hung out by it, like as close as one. We were there like at 12-ish, 12.30, just to wait. Mm-hmm. And whenever we try like waiting, they would like shoo us away. Oh. We're like, you can't do that. So then finally, the line started moving. So we jumped in, and then a huge line started to create. And we were there for like maybe 20 minutes. And then we got up to the front, and they're like, there's no line. You can wait here all you want, but there's not going to be a line. And we're like, okay, that's fine. Sure. So then after us, after us, you know, waiting there for a while, they're like, guys, we're going to call security and all this stuff. And so like we just like, okay, whatever. So we left. Um, cause they were just being a bunch of dicks the whole time and they were not friendly. I don't know. I think they they worked for the convention area. So mm-hmm. we went for 20 minutes, went somewhere else and we come back and there's a new line started <laughs> and they let people in. <laughs> so you <missed laughs> So we, we got in line <laughs> and literally when I got to the, the checkout to go check, like, you know, get in there to, to shop, they sold out. Wow. And <laughs> it was not the most enjoyable experience. I didn't let it damper the whole con. But it pissed me off yeah. the whole time. But I got one because I knew someone that was there. Which one did you get? I got Chewy. Oh, okay. Hey, and yeah, the cool thing is that they're limited. There's is he tw- blue? Or is it, he is. Is that, oh, okay. So they're all blue at the convention. They're blue chrome. Oh. And the shared, like, FYE, like, hot topic, they have, like, uh-huh. each one. And they're gold. So oh, you can okay. tell there's a difference. And there's a numbered, which is, like, a big thing for Funko people. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's a... I'm assuming it's not a very big number. Like, they're probably a, a small limited... But and that's all they're making of that. Yeah, yeah. That's so that's that's one. pretty good, especially considering that yeah they sell all over the place. So. Yeah. So I'm very I'm very thankful. Someone I knew someone and they I already knew going in that he already got me one. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to like oh I'll pick up like one or two other ones. I don't want to yeah. buy them all. I'm like a freak because there's freaks there. <laughs> yeah. And I hate those people because <laughs> we were waiting in line and there's people that already went through and they're going back in and they had like a big pile of Funkos and I'm just like that's what they're there for. <sighs> That's there's there's definitely people yeah there's definitely people that do that they'll they'll go to conventions strictly for yeah you know, Funko or and then they whatever they yeah. yeah they flip it exactly it's just and then I'm just there like I just want like two of these things just to have for my own collection and yep. then I'm done but that's what we did majority of the day and then we went to a Funko panel it was pretty cool nice um but they the whole con was really awesome and just there's a lot of excitement with Star Wars right now mm-hmm. I'm hyped for everything because today. Besides the episode nine trailer, they dropped a thing for the Mandalorian. Do you know anything about the Mandalorian? So I didn't know they dropped a trailer. I'll have to check that out because that stuff like that I will watch yeah. just because you know there's no spoilers there. Um, but yeah, I do know. So that's going to be a Disney Plus or whatever their streaming thing's called. Yes, it's exclusive. Uh, it's John Favreau, right? He's directing it. Yeah, creating and then, it. Uh, Dave Filoni, who did the Clone Wars. That, oh, okay. That animated like series. Yeah, that and, was good. Yeah, I like it a lot, and I want to rewatch it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, so they didn't drop a trailer. Oh, okay. They just announced stuff. Or... It got leaked. I watched oh. it. <laughs> I watched both. And there, apparently there was another, like, so the, like, the first time they showed footage, like, behind the scenes, like, they, like, interviewing and showing shots that they, you know, did with the camera work. Mm-hmm. And then the second one was, like, a teaser trailer. And then apparently they throw, showed something else, like, like an actual scene from the series. Nice. Which I did not find. But I found the other for the first two. Okay. And it looks great I, so i was i yeah i hope so because i saw some you know promotional footage or not footage like pictures from that just like on instagram and stuff mm-hmm. and it all looked you know pretty good didn't look like they were really cutting any corners with like the you know design or anything yeah and that's that's the cool thing is that i with star wars i'm excited for episode nine mm-hmm. and apparently they're going on a hiatus after this they're that's gonna take a little good. break which is 
great. Yeah. Take a break. You know, yeah. for the longest time, we had a long period of time where we didn't have any films. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, with that being said, with the films, there are also uh, Debbie, D.B. Weiss, and the guys from Game of Thrones. Okay. They're doing a Star Wars film. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah. So they're going to direct... Just, a, just one? Uh, or is it a trilogy? It's a trilogy. Oh. Which I'm like, why? <laughs> like, I'm, you know, I'm all for Star Wars. It's like my favorite, you yeah. know, series or whatever. But yeah, it's it's just like Marvel. It's like there's there is too much of it. Yeah, it, like, and that's why I think they're taking a break. And I'm okay with them taking a break. But if if the thing is, if you're gonna do something Star Wars related, do something different. And I was talking to our our friend about this. I said, you know, he was saying like, oh, it's the same thing over and over again. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, well, it's the same thing with Marvel. I feel like Marvel and Star Wars should both just take a nice little break. And then when you come back, do some different stuff. Granted, Marvel does a lot of different stuff. Like Black Panther is different. Yeah. Um, and Ragnarok was way Ragnarok different. Ragnarok was way different. And I'm okay with that. And kind both of, stuff. of those movies were fantastic because exactly. they were different. <laughs> yes. So just do your own thing. Do something different. Try to stay away from everything. And that's why with Star Wars, you know, they're going to finish off nine Star Wars style. And I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. But from here on out, do some different stuff. Do some. And that's what I'm excited about the Mandalorian. So going back to Mandalorian, it's like takes place five years after Return of the Jedi, and it's going to be in, like, the Outer Rim. So, like, just focusing on different stuff. Nothing... What? If it's... So, does that confirm that Boba Fett is alive? If it's... It's a different character. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, the Never Mandalorian is not Boba Fett. Okay, but, so it's just some... But the Mandalorians are, like, the people with the armor. Right. That's what uh, Boba Fett is initially... Where he gets his armor from. Oh, okay. He's a clone from Jango Fett, who has, like the mandalorian armor mm-hmm. as well but okay yes makes sense. so they're doing that series and it's like i said five years after the original saga mm-hmm. it's going to focus on you know completely different things nothing based on like, like jedis and whatnot it's going to be like a western and Ooh. i'm all about that it looks great space cowboy yeah and even today they're talking about how like you know how they used to do like the little models with the spaceships mm-hmm. for star wars yep they're doing that nice so like they're they because they're filming in la and it's okay. the first like la based star wars film that they filmed everything in there so instead of like you know just doing all cgi stuff favreau was like you know i did the line or not like he's doing lion king but like with jungle book, jungle book and iron man he had to like come up with new stuff to film so it mm-hmm. didn't look fake by any means so because like with the Jungle Book, it was a completely CGI room. But yeah. like there's structures and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it looked real. So with this, they're building little models, they're doing like they're adding CGI to it, certain things. Yeah, they kinda have to. It's but even way. with like the little models, they have like little like the fuel, like the jet. I don't know. Oh, okay. They're they have like, like the, little the exhaust in it. Yeah. And it looks cool. Nice. I I'm excited for it. Um and I think that's the direction they should be going because with Disney Plus, which is a whole new monster. That's a whole thing, yeah. Yeah, I well, first of all, are you going to get it? You think? I kind of have to, don't? Or you kind of yeah. have to, like, especially with six ninety nine. Exactly. Cheap. So, um, for a starting price, I'm going to show you a picture here. They announced that it's at six ninety nine um, monthly. Um, so that this is the day that they announced that's their stock. It yeah, just skyrocketed. <laughs> Netflix, mirror oh. image. Netflix, Netflix went down that day, oh, wow. well, but quite figured. a bit. <laughs> Um, and I, I honestly think it's because of the price point. Like Netflix just announced that they're going up a dollar for everyone each month. Yeah. And then Disney Plus comes out saying like, "Yep, seven bucks, and you get everything." Yeah. I'm I'm sure you know down the line they're going to raise it or have different categories. Like, oh, I really hope they don't go the route of you know you get you know five dollars a month you get access to our Disney stuff. But if you want Marvel, you pay an extra three. If you want Star Wars, you do this. I really hope they don't do that. They won't. I that'll ruin it. I but. think they initially talked about like ESPN Plus and Hulu. I, I can see that. And yeah. you having you can bundle it, which I don't need ESPN Plus. Like, what do you? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's a good. It is a good starting price. I knew it was going to be pretty low because mm-hmm. I think that's just they they want to kill off the, yeah. Netflix and Hulu and Amazon. I don't that. think. Well, they own Hulu now. Yeah, or but, no, they did before, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> so so <far. laughs> yeah. Um, um, they did. But for I think now they, long. with the Fox acquisition, I think they own more stuff that Definitely. was on Hulu. Yeah. Now they, like Simpsons, like they if, they, if they want, essentially they could say, you only get this on Disney Plus. Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing is they announced that Simpsons is exclusively going to oh, be they did? Disney Plus. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So there you go. <laughs> and they did announced like a little video of it. I, I saw the video, but yeah, yeah. I, didn't know it was, I didn't know it was only on there. So yeah, they, that just proved yeah. my point that they can take all those shows that they just bought, all those ideas and just say, yep, it's like, 
give me. It's like yep. it's all here, <laughs> which I'm okay with. Like, <laughs> like it's other monopoly. I like it. I like it. Like it's, it's all the stuff I like, but I I'm hot and cold with it. Yeah, I really like it, but at the same time, I like different markets and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that's why I like Warner Brothers when they do certain things. Like even for example, uh, the Lego movies. I don't know. Would we we talk about that? In the first podcast, not the or like the test one, the test one, yeah, yeah, we touched on it. I like the Lego movies a lot. I mm-hmm. think they're really great. They're fun. They're different, and they're different from like you know everything that Disney pumps out. And same with like Spider Verse, which is Sony. That's yep. different, and that's amazing. It's great, and that beat Disney yeah. <laughs> at the Oscars and every other I feel like award ceremony. But with it, I'm excited for Disney Plus and the content they're going to throw out there because mm-hmm. I feel like they're going to throw a lot out. They have a huge catalog now that they own Fox. But how do you how do you feel about Netflix? So you think Netflix is still going to be thriving, or you think it's thriving? Gonna... No, they're gonna it, they're gonna be hurting Luxus. for a bit. Yeah. Um. And that well that and I mean they're already kind of hurting because mm. that's essentially why they're they have to increase their prices is because they spend so much money on all their exclusives and yeah. like they're so here here's here's the issue with like Netflix is that they make all these exclusive shows which whether you like them or not you know it's mm-hmm. that's a different conversation because some are great some are forgettable yeah but they make all these shows to try and get people to subscribe to netflix saying they're like oh you can watch you know this show if you subscribe to netflix and they're trying to get all these people but pretty much anyone that wants to watch those shows are watching them because they have netflix nobody is subscribing in order to watch them exactly so they're not getting any additional You're revenue getting numbers yeah but they're spending more and more money every year every yeah. month making these shows so like I, it's like their debt is going up so much but they're not making any more money well that that and i feel like again like you said people already have it so yeah. what's the point point? and second off people you get it's so easy to share your netflix account with yep. anybody yep. like i i know my parents suck off mine yeah <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> We're taking that out. No, we're not. No. <laughs> God. They are using my Netflix subscription, and I'm the one paying for it is what I meant with that statement. But um, they are exclusively using my login, mm-hmm. and that is just... <laughs> oh, man. I hate All everybody. Right. Oh, I hate everybody. We're good. God, what's that time? <laughs> but I... I feel like they need to be more strict with that. If they don't want to lose more money, then, you know, cut people off from that. And, and if, if they are sharing, increase that, you know, that, that certain uh, account. You know what I mean? And they kind of are doing that. And they, they've been implementing that more and more in the last, like, however, you know, I think a couple of years where, um, so they, right, as far as I know, they have three different account styles. Like you yeah. have the one where you just get S like standard definition stuff and then you get into HD with the next group and then the next one is like ultra HD. But then along with those different categories you have different number of screens at a single time. Mm-hmm. So like with the one I'm on, I know you can have two screens on it at a time. You can have as many users as you want, like profiles I guess. Yeah. But if like a third person signs on, either they can't log on or everyone gets kicked out. I'm not sure which it is. I think it's just they can't log on. Yeah. So it's like they are kind of trying to implement that, but it's it's, it's so hard. Yeah. And, and I, yeah yeah and it's like i can definitely see them um saying you know it's like all right you you get you know a flat rate uh subscription for 10 bucks a month and you can add users for an additional two dollars or something per yeah. user i can definitely see them going that route in the future and i i, I it's gonna hurt netflix and oh, obviously yeah. the stock shows you know because yeah, it already they, has <laughs> they, they throw money at everything mm-hmm. they're like oh you want to make the show here's a bunch of money enjoy it's just, season 12 rest of development let's do it <laughs> let's, yeah and it's just not everything they do is really good mm-hmm. um because what was this show i mean look this up it's called like buzzsaw with jake gyllenhaal jake jilly i don't know that Hall. but yeah like uh, there are definitely some shows on netflix where you know, I'll watch it mm-hmm. and it's like, I'll enjoy it, but it's, I, I have yet to find anything where it's like, you know, like with Game of Thrones where, you know, it, it's coming up they announce another season or whatever and you get excited for yeah. it. Like I know some people were super excited um, about like Stranger Things season two. I wasn't one of those. Like I watched the first season mm-hmm. and I like, I liked it when I was watching it, but they announced the second one. I'm like, eh, if I get time, I'll check it out. But I, I was not rushing to it or anything like that. I was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like it a lot. I think it's a really good show. Um, I think that's like one of the hits that they yeah, have. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. Like that's one of those that pretty much everyone knows about, whether they've seen it or yeah. not. It's like they know what Stranger Things is. They know, you know, like kind of the 
the story yeah. behind it and they, all that. But again, they have some really good shows. Um, there's like Mindhunter I really like. There's Queer Eye, which I love. <laughs> I haven't seen. Oh, it's so watch good. Any of it's those. so good. That's th- those shows. I hope they continue with. Um, whether will. or not they are successful down the end, like you know, just years from now, when especially with Disney Plus being so controlling of everything, is another question. Um, the movie I was thinking about was called Velvet Buzzsaw with Jake. Oh, Gyllenhaal. I've heard of it. There's a bunch it. of like good actors in it, yeah. and it is terrible. Really, it's so bad. Like, is it, and it's a Netflix studio exclusive or whatever exclusive movie, and I hate it okay, so yeah. much. It's so terrible. Like after Tali and I watched, it, I was like, what? <laughs> that was. Like I had to watch something else because it like left like a bad taste in my mouth mm-hmm. kind of thing. But with that being said, I don't necessarily think your average Joe who's on Netflix is going to jump over to Disney Plus. We're like they're like I need to get I need to get my di-, like like mm-hmm. you know what I mean like Disney. Granted, Disney Plus is going to have a lot of content, but they're not, I don't think they're necessarily going to have like The Office and like all those other shows that a lot of people like go to Netflix for. You know what I mean? Right. And yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with that. And I think that's why it's good that they have a lower price range compared to Netflix and Hulu yeah. and all that. Um, strictly because, yeah, they don't have any of that outside stuff that people have seen in the last 20 years on TV mm-hmm. to say like, hey, now here's the place to watch it. You know, I mean, they might have that with stuff like The Simpsons or any of the, the Fox deals, um, yeah. any of the like the Disney shows. But yeah, I, I agree. I don't think someone who just has a Netflix account that watches it, you know, on weekends or something is, is going to see a Disney plus thing and be like, you know, I want that. Cause they're going to be like, if they want to watch some random Marvel movie or something, they're not going to subscribe just to see, you know, the dark world, like the second Thor movie. They're just going yeah, <laughs> to rent, yeah, go to Redbox or something. Yeah, exactly. And I, but there is going to be some exciting stuff coming to Disney plus. Um, so first off they have the Mandalorian, Mm-hmm. Which is what we were initially talking about with Star Wars, which looks amazing. I'm excited for it. I think there's like an eight episode series, which is the, which I already heard they they renewed it for a second. Okay, time, I was so. going to ask if it was seasonal or if it was a one off. Yeah, it's getting so much hype. I feel like it's gonna that's a, that's always weird to me how before a show even comes yeah, out, they're like here's another one. Yeah. <laughs> and like same with movies, it's it's yeah. like you know I don't remember what the last movie that came out like that was, but yeah, it's like the first one comes out. There's pre ticket sales, and they're like, all right, we greenlit you know whatever too. I'm like. Why though? It's exactly. like we haven't well, seen the first one. <laughs> that's that's another topic of sorts. Even like for example, Solo. Mm-hmm. They Aaron. Um, I can't remember his name. Aaron. Oh, the actor. Yeah, yeah, who plays Han Solo. He signed on for a three picture film deal, and I don't think they're making another for Star one. Wars. Yeah, for Why? they wanted to make multiple Han Solo movies. No, which I'm like no, no. First off, I didn't want it to begin with. I watched it. I enjoyed it. You know, it, it is what it is, but no one asked for it. No. And yeah, I, that, that's 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 Disney saying. It's like, you didn't ask for it, and we made it. Exactly, and that's ugh, that's another topic. But yeah. with that being said, Mandalorian, Mandalorian looks great, and I, I think it's really funny how they already renewed it for another <laughs> season, but yeah. I think that's due to the hype to it and everything. It very well could be. And pl- I mean, I, I've got confidence in John Favreau. He's made delicious stuff in the past he's and he's 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 a sweaty he's a sweaty nerd yeah and he's but he, all and he's it. like and he's all over the place, place with his movies like he made yeah. iron man one and i think he did the second one as well he didn't do the third one yeah. but yeah and you know that's kind of shows but he he's responsible for mcu oh yeah yeah I, um yeah 100%. him and and yeah so like he did that and then he went over to jungle book and mm-hmm. then lion king and it's like if you if you watched jungle book and iron man like back to back you wouldn't think it was the same people no. behind it no um, and then Lion King. Lion King is gonna feel completely different, which I'm super stoked. I'm de- very excited for Lion King. I, I, was, I was talking to some other people this week, and they're like, some people are on the fence. Other people are like, we absolutely don't need this. I'm like, it's just a move. It's like, yeah, it's if, just Lion King. Of all the remakes, that's an okay one to remake. Yeah, and then, it's got a great cast. Because I won't. I, I'm <laughs> side side note. I'm not excited for Aladdin. Really, it looks kind of. Like I'm the, for it. <laughs> we should have a Disney, Di- okay, a Disney yeah. show because I will go next into week. We'll a- do, yeah, next week we'll do Marvel and Disney. Yes, we'll talk about next week. But with Disney Plus, um, Mandalorian Day One, um, Lady and the Tramp live action. What? It's going to be like Marley and Me or something. Yeah, I, I'll watch it <laughs> because I those I'm a movies. Disney. Those movies I don't go to theaters to see, but I'll probably watch it eventually, like when yeah. they come out to Redbox or something like that. Well, I also heard Dumbo was terrible. I didn't see that, but I yeah, don't want to see that. Yeah, and I, I, I actually care. completely forgot about that. That was a movie. Yeah. So they have that. They're, they're having every single Pixar movie on there, which is obviously not too hard for them to do. Which I'm yeah. okay with because there's some Pixar movies I don't have. Um, and then Marvel is releasing. I don't know if it's day one, but I know Cat or uh, Falcon and 
Oh, um, Winter Soldier is yeah. gonna be one of the first ones they do. Okay, which is interesting. Which, which again, why would you promote all this stuff when you know you want everyone to think they're they're all dead right now? Yeah, well, Just don't talk. About I mean, it. yeah, like I, I can definitely see it being prequels or in between movies because, um, Winter. So yeah, Winter Soldier he got fish flake. Actually, they both got fish flake, didn't they? In Infinity War, they yeah, evaporated. They got snapped. Yeah. Yeah. So in, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say yeah. The, then there's really not much prequel because they there wasn't much time between yeah. Civil War and Infinity War. Like it was like a couple of years just, maybe, if that or months. Interesting. To, granted, am I gonna watch it? You bet your ass, I'm gonna watch yeah, it. I'll check I'm, it out. Yeah, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna be there. You know, first time it drops, and then we have the uh, the Vision and Scarlet Witch. WandaVision. WandaVision. <laughs> my favorite. It's fine. <laughs> it's whatever. And then Loki. Which I'm excited for Loki. I'm excited for Loki, but I'm like, what are you gonna do? What What are you gonna do now? So Is for this... that, I, I I thought about that. Yeah, I don't even care if they don't have any like you know Marvel U- MCU related content for that. Yeah. If they just go all the way back and they're like, this is you know, not an origin story for Loki, but like everything before Avengers, before Thor yeah. showed up. Because, like, throughout all the movies, he and Thor, you know, jokingly go back and forth talking about, you know, like, stuff they did as a kid. Like, in Ragnarok, Thor's talking about how Loki turned into a snake and then transformed back and stabbed him. Yeah. It's like, if they just went through, like, that whole, like, 5,000-year era or whatever, however know, okay long they've that? been living. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's just fun stuff. Yeah. And if, if it's just about Loki and all his antics he's getting into, I don't want it to be, like, a sitcom or anything yeah. like that. But yeah, that's and, what I mean. I'm just, yeah, I don't know how the tone's gonna be. Granted, side note, they I think they are initially were gonna film that specific scene with this the snake. Thing. Oh really? Yeah, but like I think they cut it out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. And then they're also doing a what if, um, like a Marvel hat used to have this like what if series through the comics. So for example, um, what if Peter Park or actually. I'll give it a good example because I think they did this in the comics initially. But what they're the first thing they're going to do is what if Steve Rogers didn't get the um, superhero the sin- serum serum, yeah, but rather Peggy Peggy did. Oh, Peggy Carter. So they do like a whole what if oh, this okay. happened? Is that is that like the like isn't there a what if like if Captain America was in Russia or something? Correct. Yeah. Okay. S- similar situation. So they're doing an animated series about that. I'm intrigued okay. again. It's Spider animated, Verse. So I'm fine. <laughs> Spider Verse, you know, opened the door of all this weird stuff, mm-hmm. and if it's animated, and then I'll check it out. Yeah, I really like that comic book style. Yeah, going oh. like we yeah, watching Spider Verse, and you if know, they do it similar to that, I, I'm all down. But for yeah, it. it'd be great. So they're doing that, um, and then they also have just regular Disney stuff, which I heard um, the moment that it ends their th- like um, theater run, it goes straight to the streaming service. Oh, nice. So you don't have to wait for it to come out on Blu-ray Man, and stuff like that. That's going to kill their... Um, Blu-ray purchase. <laughs> well, that and... Uh, what's what's their movie club? Is it just called movie, Disney Movie Club? Yeah. I, that's does gonna, it still exist? Yeah, I'm on it. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I'm on it is because I have one movie left to buy before my, like, con- you know, my contract or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just waiting for um, Endgame to come out because I'm just going to buy that. That's a good idea. Um, but yeah, if, if, they, if they continue to... Like, or if they plan on continuing doing that... It's just going to destroy hard. it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Which, like. I mean, I can see them just trashing that just to say, like, you know, we'll have this for people that want to buy it, but we're not going to promote it. We're just going to send you to our club. That's or also, our, uh, well, with that, streaming. it's also going to kill their, like, their DVD and Blu ray sales. I personally feel like because if some oh, people yeah. are like, oh, I don't need to buy that and just watch it on, you know, their streaming service. Yeah. I, I'm different where I like owning. I like owning things. Yeah. I'm, so I'm not like one of the I like digital stuff. That's cool. But I just like owning something and, you know, having it. Yeah. I think we, we touched on this last week with video games. Oh, sorry. But yeah. Yeah. Like with digital stuff, if it's something that I'm not super into and I just, it's just something I want to play every now and then or watch in this mm-hmm. case for movies, you know, like every now and then I'll rent it or buy it digitally. You know, I'm not that but But yeah, definitely. If it's something I really like, like Infinity War or Endgame or Civil War, you know, or any of those movies or like yeah. some of the Pixar ones. It's like I wanted to buy the Blu-ray. It's because it just looks better, like on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. And I was just talking about this with someone about Game of Thrones. How if you watch it on HBO streaming service, like it looks good because you know it's like HD or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then if you watch that same episode or same clip on a Blu-ray, it's like a thousand times different. Yeah, it's like what for whatever reason Netflix does pretty well with their qual their streaming quality. Mm-hmm. HBO doesn't. I don't know why they can't get it right. <laughs> it's like not only does it buffer every now and then, yeah. even on good internet. But it's like the bit 
bitrate is like super low. It's like the colors uh, are off. It's like the blacks are like super black. It's like there's a, a weird fade to it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's just super ugly. And if, if Disney can get past that, if they can, you know, get I, I hope. Yeah. That's another thing. I just, I hope it's good quality. Yes, yeah. it has the Disney name on it. I hope they put a lot of effort into it, yeah. though, because for somebody who used to work for Disney, yeah. <laughs> they don't like putting all their effort into everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. They have so much stuff they have to like do within their business but that that doesn't necessarily mean it's like going to be 100 percent done well yeah you know what i mean so, and so yeah if if they if they go their own route and like to get on like the technical side of stuff if they have their own like server farm somewhere mm-hmm. i don't know like day one i mean they're they're a you know multi-hundred billion dollar company so i'm assuming they've thought this all through and they have it all planned out yeah. but if if like there's any sort of delay or buffer or anything crashes it's gonna be really bad for them. Exactly. So if, if they can like, if they partnered with like Amazon or something, because Amazon has a massive server base. If they partnered mm-hmm. with them and like the two work together, I think it would be absolutely fine. Beautiful. I don't think there would be any any problem with that. But yeah, we'll see. Honestly, if they, you know, I guess see them buying Amazon someday. Disney is. Yeah, I I I guess I said I could see it. Oh someday. oh, gotcha. I could see I, them. Yeah, buying I thought you just like everything. dropped a big bomb. I mean, I'm like what? I'm like, no no no. I, granted, Amazon's a huge huge company. Amazon, yeah. I, but <laughs> yeah, Disney I mean, he just bought their competitor. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I don't know because Amazon's got a lot of different stuff. Yeah, like I, I, so I could definitely see them buying the Prime aspect, like Amazon Prime, or mm-hmm. yeah, at least partnering or something. I could, I could see Disney doing that just to get all digital media on their side. Um, but as far as buying them as a company, uh, I don't know, that's because I mean, we'll Amazon, Jeff Bezos, he's you know richest dude in the world. He's got a space <laughs> company. I'm like, they're not buying. If Disney goes to space, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's when it all. That's when everything ends. Is when Disney has a space company. Just imagine like a cast member getting paid twelve dollars an hour on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say they'll they'll, they'll literally yeah they'll literally film something in space. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is gonna be a whole uh, new movie. So good, so good. But I'm excited to see you know where it goes and just with. The overall, who we were talking about topic wise, Star Wars. I'm excited to see where Star Wars goes with it. Yeah. And then it's going to be interesting. I hope they kind of focus on this rather than the movies. Because, like, with movies, you get your two and a half to three hour movie. With this, you can have like eight hours worth of content, you know, with eight episodes, an hour each. Mm-hmm. And you can more to go into depth to be just more into this world. And it can yep. be done well, do something different. I'm excited for it. So, I guess, do you have anything else we want to talk about for this week? And I guess, so, yeah, if, if anyone listening has any topics they want us to yeah, bring yeah, up. Yeah, we're more than happy. You know, shoot us a comment down below. Who's not Bundy? Yeah. We actually had two comments, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> we had some good numbers for our first video, honestly. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, but we'll also check out our... We're going to do another video here soon that's not a podcast. Um, you'll have to come check it out because we're going to you know, record it here in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Should be good. <laughs> it should be good. It should be and painful. If it, if it's, yeah, if it's awful and we don't put it out, ignore this part. Yeah, we'll, but <laughs> I hope we put it out because we're gonna, it should be interesting. Yeah, we'll probably be through some pain for it. Yeah, it's ooh post-pain too. Oh, yeah. The poops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for listening. This is Goober Talks. My name is Justin. I'm Gavin. And Goober! <laughs> Okay, bye.